All right, the Media Research Center out with a brand new revealing, uh, revealing the coverage of the midterms leading up to the election was overwhelmingly biased in favor of Democrats. The study found, get this, network nightly news was 88% negative towards the GOP and the president's campaigning. And the doom and gloom continued as the results came in. This has been one of the most divisive midterms in our lifetime. The but at the end of the day, Donald Trump and his followers are still intact. Uh, it's heartbreaking. Uh, the hope has been that the antibodies would kick in, that this sort of infestation of, of hatred and division uh, would, would, would draw a response from the American people, really in both parties, to say no and no, no more. Uh, that does not seem to be happening tonight. It's not a blue wave, but it's still a blue war. Joining us with Reaction, Fox Nation host Tommy Lahren. Tommy, heartbreaking antibodies. I think it's actually more entertaining and comical to watch other mainstream media networks than it is to watch shows like SNL. To me, that's funnier. I think that a lot of Americans tune in just to laugh. I know watching that, I mean, what we went from a white lash to heartbreaking to antibodies. They make fools of themselves. Yeah, I mean, take a look at these numbers. NBC Nightly News, in terms of uh, covering the economy, which is through the roof by almost all accounts, they put 45 seconds into it. CBS, 57 seconds into it. A minute 37 for ABC. Does this reaffirm why the president switched uh, notes from uh, the economy to immigration? Well, of course, the president needs to talk about immigration because it's so important. And being in a border state, I know that. But... He's not going to just talk about the economy because they're not going to cover the economy. We've already seen that. They don't really care about the American people and how well the American people are doing. They care about sinking Donald Trump. And last night, this so-called so blue wave was a blue puddle. Can you imagine how much better we would have done if they would have covered President Trump fairly? I mean, it would have been devastating for the Democrats, but they need to hold on to their deranged. Many in the media laughed as well when the president said, this is going to be, he framed it, it's going to be about Kavanaugh and the caravan. We can talk about immigration, mm -hmm. but let's talk Kavanaugh first. I mean, Kavanaugh ends up being a big factor in these Senate races. Every Democrat who voted no on Kavanaugh in these battlegrounds, like a McCaskill, like a Heitkamp, they go down. And Manchin, the only Democrat who votes yes, just barely wins with the yes vote. If he voted no, he might have lost. Well, the Midwest, too, I think it's so important coming from the Midwest, and I know you coming from the South. The values are, I think, different than the left coast and mm -hmm. the east coast. Mm -hmm. We value truth, honesty, and justice, and what happened to Justice Kavanaugh was so wrong. And the American people, no matter which side of the aisle, if they're in the middle, they saw that as such an injustice, and they know that that could happen to them, that could happen to their family members, that could happen to every qualified candidate that comes up for a position like that. And they said enough, and enough with the games. There's no evidence here. Now we're finding out even more. It was a joke to some of these accusers. So it was disgusting, and the American people spoke. Tommy, thank you so much for being here. Thank Congratulations you. on Fox Nation. It's coming up. On the 27th. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been told that Brian doesn't have a picture on the wall. Uh, yes. So we need Brian to get this a picture a on the wall. Subject. Yeah, this is unbelievable. No, Brian has probably done more for Fox Nation, more shows. No, nobody does more than Tom. Yeah. Well, other than the host. Look. But he's done. he's gone out and about in the community. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. 